Hey guys, um, I'm here to do a tutorial on how to do uh, how to uh, play DFO with a USB controller. So let's get started. So first, we're gonna go to the browser that you use. For me, I use Google Chrome, and we're gonna go to Google. So in the search engine, we're gonna put XPatter. As you see, we're here at the the search results. So I want you to go to the third. Well, at the one at the search. Well, here's the search results at the time. So I'm gonna put a link in the video. But we're gonna go with the third one at this time. So all right, here we are at the download page, and we're gonna come over here to secure download. Should be a zip file. And it should come down. Well, it, it should pop up in a, uh, a zip art, uh, archive. I'll put a download link for anybody who needs more art. So, okay, we have X Pattern archive. archive. And we're gonna open it. So, now we're coming with the uh, first startup. First start up here. Um, it's, it's explaining that it's going to install it, so I'm going to click the start. Um, we will do my documents, associate, and here is XPatter. Now, I don't know what kind of controller you have, it should be USB and you should hook it up to your computer. It's a very good idea to go to your control panel. Uh, where is my control panel? Oh, here it is. To go to your control panel and hold on, it's loading up for me. Um, hardware. Game controllers. Just uh, it shows any any. Uh, USB controllers that it picks up. So you can test it. Um, if it's buggy for you guys, or you just you want to be on the safe side, you want to collaborate, and it brings up the game device collaboration wizard, and you'll just follow this for the sake of this. Gonna do the wherever it tells you. And it should be collaborating. And here you can test to see that all your you know, all your buttons are working. something I want to make sure. So I'm going to go on the next part here, how we're going to actually set this up to work with DFO. So we're going to do a new profile and a new layout. So I want you to click on the little icon here, it should bring out a drop menu and you click new and you should come up to the layout, controller layout. Okay, and so here we're gonna start it off. We're gonna go to the sticks tab. If you wanna play with the sticks, the control sticks. And you're gonna follow the little collaboration it has here. Test that out. Try to put it in a layout like I have here. But if you have a different one than I have, then you should put whatever layout that you want. If you want to play with a D-pad, I don't play with the D-pad because I find that it's easier to control your character with the control sticks. But I do use D-pad for items and things that uh, hotkeys, extra hotkeys, it's a good thing. I'm going to do another stick here. Get that collaborator. Now for the buttons. 
basically you're going to press the buttons you want to add. So on your USB controller, just start pressing buttons. Well, add it one at a time, of course. So you don't want to get confused. So put it like that. see it's starting to take the shape of the control because that's what you want to do right there because you don't want to get confused with you know the buttons so now that you have something similar like that uh, we're gonna close this where it shows up here and now we're gonna actually start to put in I would want to say A, B, keys, uh, I'm just going to say the controls. Okay, so, the main button I'm going to use is X. Actually, I use a different control, so let's see here. X. Basically, what I'm doing right now is assigning keys to the layout. So, if you press a button on your control pad, it shows it up here and that's what we're trying to get here that's good Z, I like to put it at one two three Hotkeys for quest and inventory. And then here, this is going to be a little bit trickier. Normally, you would just do up, down, left, right. But you see, this isn't as easy as it like that. Because on the game, when you press up, it goes up. There's no make sure the two so it goes this way so we have to set it that way um, we're gonna go we're gonna come to the little wrench here and it's going to give us a menu here so I'm gonna, I'm gonna click eight way so now you have eight different directions to assign keys to and so basically now we can manually put in that horizontal vertical center. so <clears throat> yeah uh, when you uh, when you do the assignment on that key there you can go to advanced and you're gonna press in the two that you want to mix in and it comes up here so now that's assigned so that's gonna actually pick up See that it's gonna pick it up and it'll make your character move a little bit better. So advanced, down right, close it, go on to the next one. Close. Oops. <clears throat> now it's really looking like uh other hockeys but that's basically my setup that's the one I'm used to but you can be feel free to try out different combinations different layouts it, it's really all depends on you so um, after you've done your layout and your profile you want to save it save it into a file location that's that you're gonna be able to access easily, like uh, going and putting it into your documents folder. And you're also gonna save the profile. But 
set into a document. And so there's your controls set up. Now all you have to do is open up DFO and it should all work perfectly. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe for new videos. Thanks for watching.